On Thursday at 1.30 p.m., Queen Elizabeth II was pronounced dead by Buckingham Palace. She was 96 years old and was England's longest-serving monarch, ruling for 70 years. Immediately after her death, Operation London Bridge was instated, a plan that has been in place ever since she first became queen. The operation's goal is to work towards the coronation of the new king, which could take anywhere between a couple of days to a few months. In other news, Steve Bannon, a former White House strategist under the Trump administration, is expected to be criminally charged in the state of New York. Bannon is being accused of taking more than $1 million from donations meant to fund a wall to be built on the U.S.'s southern border. Bannon was also convicted of charges relating to the January 6th insurrection, which he is scheduled to be sentenced for in October. On Wednesday, Hampshire County Sheriff Patrick K. Helene was nominated for a second term as sheriff, winning the primary vote with over 48% of the overall vote. He will now continue on to the general election where the new sheriff will be decided in the near future. I'm Gavin Knight Richard, and thanks for watching. I'm Thad Castle. I'm committed to Blue Mountain State. Um, I'm from Northampton High School. Today we're just going to be going around doing the football to a few people. I'm Thad's sister, and he's my brother, but sometimes he's a little bit of an idiot. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? With the start of an NFL season approaching, many people look forward to once again turning their TVs on and watching their favorite sports team. Like many other sports, football offers an option to have a fantasy league where people draft players from the NFL and compete to see which person gains the most points from the player's stats. Last Monday, the teachers at NHS met to draft players for the fantasy football team. We spoke with Jeremy Whalen, the commissioner of that league, and other NHS faculty members about how their fantasy league and how they envision their fantasy team performing. Honestly, I think what I discovered this year is that um, I have about as much impact on my, my fantasy team as I do on my real uh, teams that I root for, uh, which is to say not much. But in terms of strategy for the season, um, you know, I'm just looking to, to bring the trophy back to NHS. Um, I'm sick and tired of people who are not working at NHS winning this trophy. So, um, Mr. Fitzgerald, I'm coming for you. Ms. Sheridan, I'm coming for you. Mr. Whalen, I'm coming for you. Wait, he still teaches here? Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I kind of assumed that that's why we switched platforms and he invited students instead of teachers. But um, yeah, no, um, that's that's generally my approach. Yeah, so my strategy when drafting was to kind of try and do the opposite from what everyone else is doing. So if there's a run on quarterbacks, I'm trying to go for top receivers, top tight ends, that kind of thing. Try and flip flop and uh, anticipate trends. It's a snake draft. So it's like 20 picks between um, my last pick sometimes and then the next one. So just trying to reverse trends and um, anticipate what I can. And it worked out. I like my roster. Uh, as boss man and commissioner of the league, uh, it's pretty fun. We've been doing it for, uh, this is our fourth year now. Uh, and it's just a chance for a bunch of us in the school to kind of go back and forth, have something that is uh, not just academics that we're talking about all the time, although we love that. It's just a way to uh, decompress and have some fun and laughs. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> this week, uh, what we figured out was that uh, we thought, or I thought, that Omar, I reached out to him a couple weeks ago, he was drafting with us. So I said, are you ready to go? Draft day's here. Are you in the school? And I kept on getting these weird cryptic responses, but just kind of went over my head. Omar drafts, or who I thought Omar was, was drafting. Come to find out that it was another Omar, a student that graduated a few years ago, and Omar did not, in fact, um, take over the team. Uh, but we figured everything out. He's now in the league. He's taken this kind of fledgling team and trying to make some, some good trades. So I'm excited to have him at least now in the, uh, in the league and in the, in everything's uh, settled out. So. Um, We'll see. He's got a, so, an uphill climb, but uh, I think that all the teams are pretty good and uh, the competition's going to be stiff uh, this year. Except for Mr. Prue. He's pretty bad. Thanks for watching, and let us know at Transcript NHS on Instagram so we can see who you think will take home the ship. Many NHS, this semester marks the first more traditional academic experience in the past three years. With urgent concerns over COVID seemingly behind us now, regular school activities are starting once again. 
We chatted with students about what they're excited for this school year and any aspirations that they might have. Semester, I really want to make sure that we have fun senior events. So we're starting Assassins, which is a fan favorite. Um, we're going to try and get some volleyball and basketball tournaments, just fun stuff to like wrap it up the you know high school experience. Um, I think I'm then, just nervous because it's the, our last chance to do it. Like, stuff as a grade, as a group, we're all going to be gone next year. So it's kind of like the last, I don't know, the last rod. So we have to make it good. As I'd like to say, well, I'm happy that we have new administration. I'm optimistic about it. So I'm hoping that we can work well with everybody in administration. Um, kind of a 180 from last year. And yeah. Um, I hope that as a class we can kind of come together. We didn't have that much involvement in a ton of activities last year. We had like very specific groups and friend groups, um, but I hope that because it's our senior year, we can all get involved and kind of just experience, you know, this together. This semester I hope to accomplish planning a lot of new events and just having a lot of fun at games and like bringing the spirit back. Yeah, it, I'm nervous just because it is our first semester senior year, like a lot of college stuff to get through. I'm also nervous I have a pretty tough schedule. And changes I would like to see this year are bringing the spirit back, like I said earlier. It's been lacking the past couple of years, so really getting everyone back into the school spirit. And also the best change that's already happened so far is our new administrators. I love working with Ms. Zamer and Ms. Harrison so far. Uh, this semester, I'd like to accomplish, uh, I guess, getting good grades, uh, <laughs> applying to all the colleges I'd like to go to. Um, yeah, just overall doing well in school, boosting my GPA, stuff like that. Um, honestly, I'd like them to put in a B grade. A change in the standards would be nice, because a C or A is not ideal. This semester, I'm really just focused on getting good grades making myself look good for college and stuff like that. And you know, that's pretty much just it. I hope to get out of this semester is probably just solid grades. I mean, grades were a little bit of a struggle last year, so you know, good grades are always good. What am I nervous about? Um, you know, there's a lot to be nervous about, so that's kind of a hard question. But uh, I don't know, I guess wrestling is kind of nerve wracking. It's getting closer and closer, so you know, just mentally preparing for that. Well, we'll see if those teenage dreams come true. But jokes aside, we wish everyone the best of luck for the coming school year. Hi, this is Levi Armstrong, and welcome to Between the Bells, or in the halls. It's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but that's neither here nor there. This is a segment where I run around, I ask random people random questions, and if they win, they get a fake dollar with my face on it. So who wouldn't want that? Let's go! Yeah, okay, so stop. Um, you're seniors now, how does it feel? Um, pretty crazy. What's one thing you don't like about being a senior? I know people are asking how I feel to be old. Kids, am I right? Woo! Great show. You're in town, really about streams and pee. Are you on the lacrosse team? Uh, yeah. How does it feel to be a toxic male? I mean, it feels great, man. It feels good, yeah. yeah. Take it in, breathe it in. You're to oh, hi, Mr. Reeves. Which one of your colleagues eats the weirdest lunch? Hmm, I usually only eat with Mr. Lucy. So I, Mr. Lucy. Well, what does he eat? What did he eat for lunch yesterday? Hmm, he used to get salads from Walmart. <laughs> that, is, that is weird across the board. You're, you, why? Uh, since COVID, I gained 40 pounds and I tried to lose weight by eating salad, but I'm pretty sure it's mostly lard. <laughs> it's definitely lard. Don't, don't trust that. I, have a feeling, I think it's the salads that are making your, like, your, your Chester Field Garther, our field, <laughs> Garther. So that's our segment. Um, I'm Levi Armstrong. Thanks for, thanks for watching this. And I hope you enjoyed meeting one Actually, we didn't meet any of the new teachers, so you're welcome. As a new school year begins at NHS, several important pieces of the administration leadership team are still being established. According to an August 30th letter sent out by Superintendent Dr. Pearson Campbell, prior candidates interviewed have withdrawn their candidacy in recent weeks. We talked to Ms. Zamer, the current associate principal, along with several heads of the education department to get their thoughts as the year starts. 
I guess it's been really different at different times. Um, you know, we've had a lot of transitions in the last few years, so I think it's been um, interesting trying to kind of get a system of, you know, kind of regular meetings and communication set up and something that consistent that will kind of go from year to year, especially between the transitions with administration and the pandemic. Um, it's been hard to kind of get into a rhythm and a, and a routine. Yeah, I've really been um, pleased with uh, Ms. Zamer, who has a really nice energy, and, um, and Ms. Harrison, who's kind of stepped into having to make a lot of big decisions and things that, um, you know, are not officially in her role, I think. Um, my hopes for the new administration are one that is more um, present in the building, I think, um, which Ms. Zamer's already, you know, all over this building, which is great. Um, I think I really, I, I do miss the classroom, but I think I wanted to kind of see the whole picture of a school and how I can support teachers to support more kids. Um, I think the impact on kids is you have, you have more students under your kind of, um, in your attention than you do as a classroom teacher. So, you know, I like being with the kids and I like seeing and, and bouncing around to see the teaching and learning in schools. So I just, I wanted to be in classrooms and I wanted to be in more classrooms. And so that's what my hope is for here is that I'm in the classroom and not in my office. Right. The students and the staff have been super welcoming. I think that there's a lot of energy behind the work everyone's doing right now. It feels good to come into a school year that feels more normal than the past three years with COVID. Um, so I'm feeling very hopeful. I want to connect with all the students. Um, I'm lucky because I know a lot of the students already because I taught them, but uh, there are a lot of new students that I want to connect with. I want to make sure that each student here has a connection to at least one adult. It would be great if they had a connection to more adults. So just really working on the uh, school culture and the climate to make it a positive place where people want to be and people are enjoying being here um, and enjoying learning. With almost a whole school year ahead of us, we still have much to see about how administration will take on the school year and the new challenges that will come with it.